guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to film this look. I didn't think it was going to get that much love, but when I posted this on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, you guys would crazy for it so i was like okay gotta film it bring it out this is kind of like spring wheat summer summer's about to come that pop of color right there screams summer to me and i just love the mauvey pink tones to it so if you want to learn how to achieve this look do not forget to subscribe and keep on watching so i'm starting off by priming my eyelids with the tarte shape tape concealer i will have all the brushes listed on the screen just in case you're curious i'm also dragging this under my waterline i was gonna say lower lash line oh wait it is a lower lash line um i am using single shadows for this look so i'm using a burnt orange here just improvise what you have i'm doing tapping motions and look mm, my face is just like it's so pigmented i'm doing tapping motions first because i just want to lay out the color and then blend it out later so here you can see me doing small tapping motions again and that's how i kind of drag the color upwards and then i start doing circular motions and that's how you blend eyeshadow with wet concealer i do let it set a little bit kind of get a little tacky and then i go in with the eyeshadow base i don't just go straight in after it's wet and you're just gonna see me going back and forth doing little windshield wiper motions and little circular motions take your time with blending the eyeshadow because you don't want it to look harsh especially when you're not doing any eyeliner or anything like that then i am moving on to this cranberry color i'm doing the same thing little tapping motions i keep going back and forth with the color and i make sure to start at the corner of my eye and then on the inner part i tug my eye just to make sure i'm really getting in there because i have hooded eyes doing the same thing just doing little circular motions i find that doing circular motions is the best way to go um, once I get towards the end, I like to kind of flick it out like if I were to do eyeliner. And I do go back with a clean blending brush just to make sure that both colors are well blended and diffused. Then after this, I'm going to start to cut my crease. You guys have seen me cut my crease multiple times on my channel. It's nothing new. But once I get towards the end, you want to make it look seamless. So I like to do little strokes just to make sure it's blended. And right here, I was a little bit pissed off because I didn't realize I wasn't recording. But I used this Dose of Color Sizzle Chrome Color. And I'm just demonstrating here how I did it. Literally just with a brush, I just put it on. <laughs> I was so mad as if it was like something you guys have never seen before. But I love these dual chrome shadows. They're freaking amazing. Moving on, I'm going to the lower lash line using that same cranberry color. I really like to pack on my lower lash line colors that's not that, <laughs> that didn't even make sense just make sure you really buff it out because you don't want it to look you know harsh and then the top look buffed out for lashes i'm using kmy next lashes in the sa 684 or 864 I'm not sure i will have them listed down below these are my favorite lashes ever i do have a discount code just in case you guys want to purchase them they're just so fluffy and wispy and beautiful i am putting eyeliner on my waterline i like to smoke out the lower lash line so i will go in i don't think i showed this part but i put black eyeshadow on top of that just to make it look a little bit more seductive and sexy you know and then i go in with this white base from kat von d and i'm putting that in the inner corner and then i put like a tiffany blue color on top of that and why we put the white base it kind of makes it pop out more and look like a neon sign so i go back in with another layer of white and the tiffany blue and it makes it pop out and look beautiful last part i'm adding mascara to my lower lashes and then we're moving on to the face all right so we are done with the eyes now moving on to the face starting off with primer Actually, you guys, you want to know what is really surprising? I have not run out of my double Sisley primer. And as you can see, the bottle is really small. So I would have thought I would have run out of it by now, but I haven't yet. Since this is a little bit on the expensive side, and I know a lot of you guys don't like to spend money, especially $100 on a primer when you can buy like five products, I will be giving this out so all you have to do is turn on my post notifications which is the little bell down there and comment when done and i will be choosing one of you to win this primer who knows maybe i would choose three of you because this primer is so bomb i want you guys to try it also before we get into the foundation i'm going to be exfoliating my lips with the mint juleps lush uh lip scrub i love this stuff it's so good this honestly makes a huge difference for liquid lipstick all right, now to moisturize my lips, you guys. I have been talking about this for the past week nonstop on Twitter, on Snapchat. This is the Kopari Lip Glossy. I actually got this when I went to Coachella with NYX, and I totally forgot, and I was about to buy a lip balm, and I was like, what am I going to buy it if I had it at home? Tried it, freaking amazing. It smells like vanilla. So good. 
I apply this at night before I go to sleep and my lips wake up super juicy and moisturized. Now, moving on to foundation. Actually, I'm gonna have a pizza break real quick. Do you guys remember these? Bitch. Bitch. My mom would take me and my cousins to Blockbuster. RIP to Blockbuster, a real one. And we would buy like the little snacks, the little hamburgers. So good, so freaking good. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I was using the Estee Lauder foundation for a while. I broke it at Coachella. Somebody freaking gave me ojo. And then I was like, crap. I was like, what foundation do I have right now that I love? And I was like, all right, let me go back to the Fenty one. I forgot how much I loved it because this foundation mixed with the Sisley primer makes my skin look so freaking bomb. I feel like an elf when I show my ears though. Ew. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna skip through this part and go to the concealer because these sirens are annoying as fuck. Moving on to my favorite concealer. It is the ColourPop concealers in the shade Light and Fair. So the reason why I like using both of them is because I like using the dark one down here. And then I just use the light one at the very top. Also, I'm spraying my beauty blender with the Tasha Dewey Skin Mist. This helps buff out the concealer way better. It just melts it beautifully into the skin. All right, for powders, I actually have been obsessed with a new powder lately. Where is it? Right here. It is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I love this powder for my face, but my nose. So I don't know why, but my skin has been really oily lately. Actually, I do know why, because I haven't gotten facials. When I don't get facials, my skin doesn't know how to act and it goes ape shit and does whatever it wants and it gets really oily, which I do not approve of. The only powder that I set my nose with is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This one will keep my nose intact and it won't slip and slide. Also, I am going to say if you're oily, this powder is not for you, the Hourglass one. I actually have never tried a powder that makes you look dewy. This powder is meant for people with dry skin and they like that dewiness because once it like settles into your skin, it kind of melts like butter and it looks kind of like, I, I don't I don't know, you guys, you guys will see it. And I'm just obsessed with it. I told Tina and Shelby about it. I was like, y'all need to try it out. Actually, I didn't tell them, but I'm gonna tell them. Let me tell them right now. House party. Also, this powder is really light on the skin. That I do like. Hey, bitch. Oh, what the fuck, Shelby? What the fuck, bitch? I'm in the middle of filming. <laughs> Just hear, hey, bitch. <laughs> no, because it said it says Daisy's in the house. So I was like, oh, she wanna FaceTime. I didn't think it just was gonna jump in. I just opened the app. Where's Tina? Call Tina, cause I need to tell y'all something really important. Hello? All right, is there everybody in the house? Yes. I have a public service announcement that I need to tell y'all. You guys need to try, oh my God, do you see my face? Yeah. This is literally the Hourglass Veil powder. It's so good. What the hell? This is literally the first powder I have ever used that makes you look dewy. Like it melts into the skin like butter, so it makes you look dewy instead of matte. So like you don't even need to set it. Does it, it have flashback? No, it doesn't have flashback. This is the powder I've been using every single day. Oh shit. I know, bitch. That's what I said. I was like, the fuck? I was like, shit. Do you guys want to tell- flowers. Bye flowers. Bye. 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 I'm disgusting. <laughs> Bye. I love you guys. I love you. So now I just dusted away the extra powder. Oh my God, this brush set from BH Cosmetics is so beautiful. It has like the rose gold detail right here and then marble. I just got a code with BH Cosmetics. So now you can save even more. Their products are already super affordable for amazing quality and my discount code. So I got you guys. Oh, we are done with powders. Another pizza break. So now for bronzer, I also have a new bronzer. I literally got this in the mail yesterday. This is by Bomb Cosmetics. It's called the Take Home the Bronze in the shade, I guess there is no shade. There was three shades though. There's like a light one, a medium one, and a dark one. I'm using the medium one. I feel like this is a dupe for the Kevin Aquan one. It's even like the same um, size and stuff, but this one is freaking bomb. It just bronzes me so well. That's all I need. I don't even need to go back for another round because it gave me like 10 rounds. Oh my God, I swear my baby hairs are everywhere. I can never tame them, I swear. Okay, now we're gonna contour the nose. To bake, I also use the Laura Mercier 
just because the hourglass one is a little bit too thin. Okay, also a new product that I just tried out. It is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I've heard so many great things about this blush. I just never like decided to use it. I've gotten it in PR multiple times and I just like, I stuck to that. Never fails. I don't know why it just never caught my attention, but I was like, let me just go ahead and try it. And this blush is amazing. While I'm dusting off the bake, I also use that bake to mix in both of these over here. Mix and blend both of them together. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with some Fix Plus. For highlight, still my ride or die is the Amrezy highlight. Mm, yep. Oh my God, you know what I forgot to apply? How could I forget? My Lancome Absolute Patch Powder. This is my ride or die powder. Oh, let me get my brush. I'm gonna pick it up my toe. And I'm going to use that to set my entire forehead with. I've explained this multiple times. This powder is like a highlighter translucent powder. It's not thick where it's a highlight and you apply it all over your forehead and it looks too intense. And it's not like a translucent powder where it won't show up. It gives you like that glow within. And I love using that on my T-zone area. Do I have any more pizzas left? I'm stressed. Yeah. So I'm using the MAC liner in the shade Dervish to outline my lips. For the lippy, I'm going with Anastasia in the shade Poet. Oh my God, I just like cockeyed for a second. It's like a mauve purple kind of color. It's so pretty and it brings out like purple undertones from the eyes. I feel like it just goes perfect with the light look. All right guys, so that is it for this look. Thank you so much for watching. If you recreate this, do not forget to tag me so I can retweet to fave. And if you recreate a look, most likely I will follow you. So it's a little heads up. Do not forget to turn on those post notifications to enter the giveaway. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.